Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well today. Today I got the update for February. Uh, this update is my complete update of um, affiliate income, YouTube income, um, referral link income, all of that, along with my dividend portfolio and what changes I've made. And I've made some uh, very big changes. You'll want to stick around for that. But February was an excellent month. Um, YouTube views are up, subscribers are up, YouTube income is up. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much um, for liking, sharing, uh, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. You know, if you're new here, you know, do the same. Like, share, subscribe. Down in a pinned comment down below um, are ways you can support the channel and and all of that. All of that stuff is really at no cost to you. I'm not asking you for anything. Um, the big thing is um, for like Amazon, if you go to shop at Amazon, if you normally shop at Amazon, if you use my link um, and shopped how you normally shopped, Amazon would send me a small commission on qualified purchases. It's just a win-win, no extra cost to you. Um, another way is to just share my videos. You know, if you like it, share it on your social media. You know, that's another way, you know, the, the YouTube income can increase, right? So I appreciate every one of you. Um, thank you. We are growing. I'm going to share some of those numbers with you here today too. And, um, let's just get into it because this might be a, a long one. Um, I'm going to start off with YouTube income. So now this is my, uh, I'm sharing with you all, uh, affiliate links and YouTube earnings, etc. Um, because I'm taking all of this money and I'm filtering it into an M1 finance account. And um, I'm trying to build this up because me and my wife are going to retire and buy an RV. That RV. <laughs> and we're going to hit the road travel America. And um, I'm hoping that uh, this little bit of income can grow and be significant enough to buy us an RV and we can go travel. If not, I got backup plans, but you know this would be a nice way that uh you know that my efforts here you know and your support created uh that opportunity so february like i said was a great month it's actually the the best month i've had uh so far you know we see on youtube we made uh, 177 dollars and 45 cents and um you know that's almost set that's the second best month ever and it was a short month, so that's that's great. Um, we'll look at some of these analytics here. We got sixteen thousand views, which is uh, a lot more than the past three months. Uh, watch time is up. Subscribers, this one is really nice. Um, Two hundred subscribers in the month of February. Look at that difference between January. That's almost double. And then uh, 177.45 in revenue. So that was uh, what 80% higher than uh, January. So really appreciate that, guys. Now, Amazon, uh, we made $7.05 in Amazon earnings. Now, the way Amazon works um, is they do net 60 days on payout. So I got paid this one in February, and then I'll get paid this one in March, and so on and so forth. So if they're in green, they haven't actually been deposited yet into the account. So we're still waiting on these here. And the big one, we had four referrals um, for M1 Finance at uh, the $30 uh, referral fee or referral reward or however you want to call that. And uh, so that gave us 120 bucks. So a total income of three hundred and four dollars and fifty cents now for this we have a fifty thousand dollar goal uh, we are three point four nine percent to the goal and the rv fundometer <laughs> you'll see right there one thousand seven hundred and forty three it's actually moving a little bit i'm liking it so we'll take a look real quick at the m1 finance holdings uh, that all this gets funneled into and the pie is QQQ, uh, FDIS, which is a consumer discretionary uh, sector ETF from Fidelity, 
WCLD, which is a cloud computing ETF, and ArcG, which is a genomic, genomic, can anybody answer that and tell me how that, how you say that, genomic, genomic, uh, healthcare REIT, not REIT, uh, healthcare revolution uh, ETF from ARK Invest. And those two are, are down quite, not down, but I mean, I'm up still one and a half percent, but they've taken a big hit uh, this week and uh, would like to get some money over in there to, to take advantage of this dip. But uh, up six and a half percent on the FDIS and up four percent on QQQ. So I can't complain about that. So that concludes the uh, GW ETF channel RV fund finances for the month of February. Now we're going to move on to the dividend income slash options income for the month of February. And, uh, if, if you have been with me for a while, you know, my portfolio has evolved and this month is no different. It's been evolving every month and I pretty much gutted my account. And we'll see this, the holdings here, basically four holdings. Okay. Um, I don't know if I shared all of these with you, um, but I have a hundred shares of Kroger and that hundred shares of Kroger. I bought, um, on February 10th at a price of 3382. And I started selling covered calls out of those. And then I also received a dividend of $18. So. Um, I do have a covered call out for 3450 and the stock price right now is 3444. So if that gets called away at 3450, I would be making 6.62% on that, uh, on that holding on March 19th when that call expires. So we'll see. I mean, if it goes away, it goes away. If not, uh, I'm extremely happy holding Kroger and selling covered calls on it. Um, this is in my Roth, by the way. So I can just wheel and deal in this uh, account. Um, this is this is the only thing I got in there. So uh, next holding is Rocket. Yes, Rocket Mortgage. Um, I bought this one. I have 100 shares. I bought this one February 11th. This is in my other Roth. And I bought 100 shares at $20.70, and I sold some covered calls against it. Um, I actually sold one on February 11th with the expiration of March 12th. Um, I forget what date, but Rocket had earnings really recently. And I pulled off the call to let the stock run. So I pulled off the call, kept $49.60 in profit. And then um, let the stock have earnings. It really just kind of sat there for a while, and I sold a uh, I sold a covered call against actually on 222 before earnings. I just moved the call up and out, so I moved the strike to 25 dollars with an expiration date of April 16th. And um, so so far, I've collected 158 dollars and 90 cents. I'm really surprised that someone didn't exercise this call because it, some of you that have followed rocket knows that it shot up to almost 40 bucks. So if someone would have exercised this call, they could have let made me sell them shares, sell my shares to them at 25 bucks. And then they could have sold their call. I mean, they could have sold the shares for 40, you know, and made a whole bunch of money, but they didn't. I'm keeping the shares apparently. Um, so stock price right now, it is in the money. So we have until April 16th. Um, if it, if it, uh, rocket is under 25 bucks, I get to keep the shares and all the, all the covered calls. If it's up above $25, here is the best case scenario. Um, I would have collected $158 and 90 cents in covered calls, $430 in stock profits for a total profit of $588 and 90 cents. Total return of 28.45%. That would be in about two months. So I'm happy with that, but I'm also happy with keeping those shares and happy with the uh, selling cover calls against it. So that's Rocket. And the next big addition, Nusi. Everybody was thinking that I was going to stay into Jeppy and 
and you know i was going to but um i just i I needed something that i could forget about in in a way in a sense i'm not a great buy and hold investor (laughs) okay so i just needed something to just stick in to i'm using it sort of as a savings account i don't suggest that for anybody um i'm not a financial advisor blah 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 but i'm using it as kind of a cash holding um so over there i have 135.679 shares it drips excuse me i think about 20 20 bucks a month 20 something a month and that's fine with me but i'll be adding to it opportunistically over time um so i'm happy to have nusi in there and then uh last one like i said i'm a bad buy and hold investor so i set my wife up with an m1 finance account and i put in her account degrow there's a couple other ancillary positions in there but they're not very significant so um it's about 91 percent in d degrow so that's all i'm gonna track the other ones are not dividend paying stocks either um so right now it's only got 4.63 shares in there and we'll be adding to that um as we go along so that's it that's it um three hundred and seventy dollars in annual dividend income it's way down from what it used to be uh month current monthly average at thirty dollars and eighty four cents in dividends And you can see those four holdings make up 17.79% of my portfolio. And roughly the other part is cash and options. So um, covered call income for the month of February 296.76. Dividend total for the month of February 118.81. I've already thrown in March in there. Um option income there you go for february you'll see i made money every single day in february uh options income three thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars and ten cents so i had a great month in february um those of you who um who are in the options market know that this first week of march uh probably anybody in the market this first week of march has been kind of wild Um, So I guarantee you already that I will not be making uh, anywhere close to this for the month of March. Okay. Um, And that's fine. I didn't expect to be making this kind of money on options every single month. It's just not, uh, it's not realistic for the size of account. Um, But, you know, needless to say, three thousand eight hundred and sixty-four dollars and ten cents for the month of February is awesome. And um, already in twenty twenty-one, these are the totals uh, for twenty twenty-one: three hundred nineteen dollars and sixty cents collected so far in uh, dividends, and five thousand three hundred seventy-five dollars and fourteen cents in option profit income. Now, one thing I don't do is when i talk about options i'm not talking about premium received i'm talking about positions that are closed out and realized profits so these are realized profits not just premium received Um, so that total is five thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars and fourteen cents for the year so far Um, in 2020 we did nine thousand nine hundred thirteen dollars and seventy cents so we're going to be well on our way to beating that unless this market just trends down all the way and doesn't stop trending down all year i find that highly unlikely but uh, you never know but uh yeah i like this options thing um i guarantee you a month of march is not going to look like this but uh i added a kind of a fun thing down here uh for the month three thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars and ten cents so daily this is uh divided by trading days so there was 19 trading days in the month of february so i made 203 dollars and 37 cents average and hourly there's six and a half hours trading hours in a day so that 
comes out to $31.29 an hour. It's an honest job, right? So that's it. I'm hoping to uh, add to some of these. I'm hoping to add to Degro and Nusi as we go along. Keep milking uh, Kroger and Rocket for dividend income. Um, if it gets called away, I don't know if I'll go back into it or if I'll explore another stock. Um, I kind of like... I've never totally taken advantage of things that I wanted to buy. You know, I've always talked about, um, you always talk about in hindsight, right? Um, man, I wish I would have bought that. You know, I wish I would have had enough and just, you know, went and bought a hundred shares of that. Well, I'm kind of doing that now. I kind of have that freedom for some reason. I feel like I can do that now. And I liked Rocket. Um, I liked where it was under, you know, right at 20 bucks when I bought it. And uh, I will continue. I don't know if I'll buy more or double down or if it gets called away, I'll sell it and look for the next one, you know, because they are in Roth. Kroger and Rocket are both in Roths and I can just swing trade and, you know, no tax consequences whatsoever in there. So that's actually been fun for me. I like it and um, we'll see how it goes. So that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed um, have any comments leave them down below like share subscribe share these videos with your friends if you think they'd be interested it would really help out the channel uh, tremendously um, you know i'm loving the growth i appreciate all of you guys and i hope you guys have a great weekend thanks bye bye i am not a financial advisor the information contained in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for any investment, tax, or legal advice. Thank you.